Hello everyone. After the war, Finland lost one-third of its territory to Russia and suffered serious human and economic losses. Sweden decided to wash their hands of the sword and not participate in any conflicts thereafter, including World War I and II. Their neutrality has been maintained for over 200 years, helping people enjoy peace and sleep well. However, in 2022 after Russia attacked Ukraine, Sweden joined hands with Finland to apply for NATO membership because they felt their security was threatened. To date, Finland has successfully become the 31st member of NATO. But Sweden has been indefinitely postponed due to Turkey's efforts to prevent it. The reason they have the right is because NATO stipulates that a new member application must be approved by all countries in the bloc. Every time Sweden meets the requirements, Turkey adds more conditions. Why? Let's discuss each reason to understand. In 2019, Turkey invaded northern Syria to hunt down separatist forces, causing many civilians to die due to human rights violations, so they were banned from buying weapons by the United States and some European allies including Sweden. So to take advantage of the opportunity, they made their first request that Sweden must lift the arms embargo on Turkey. Okay, we agree. Uh why so easy? Then comes the second requirement that Sweden must commit not to harbor or support PKK fighters, a Kurdish organization seeking separation from Turkey. This is a condition that frustrates NATO members because it is considered impractical. Since 1984, Sweden has listed the PKK as a terrorist organization and banned its activities in the country. So what else do you want to commit? In fact, Turkey also has a reason for making this request. Sweden has a tradition of helping unfortunate victims, including allowing 100,000 Kurds from Turkey as well as Iraq, Iran or Syria to reside because they are oppressed at home. The Stockholm government even grants these citizens freedom of speech and protest against some undemocratic policies of President Erdogan. This is normal for a northern European country. However, it is unusual for Turkey because they believe that the freedom of speech of Kurds in Sweden is actually against the government at home. Among them are many people related to the separatist PKK organization. So they ask Sweden to allow extradition of 130 terrorists back home. However, the Stockholm government refused because they needed evidence to verify it instead of arbitrarily arresting people. Therefore, President Erdogan became even more angry and declared an end to all negotiations on Sweden's accession to NATO. Many NATO allies are frustrated that Turkey is just using an excuse to prevent Sweden from becoming a member. According to some Western experts, there are two main reasons why Turkey is determined with its position. First, NATO's expansion into countries such as Sweden and Finland has strategic significance in countering Russia as a leader of the organization. The United States wants this as soon as possible because it understands its importance so Turkey deliberately makes it difficult at this time with the aim of making the US compromise. Previously in 2017 because they bought Russia's S-400 missile defense system so they were banned from buying advanced weapons including F-35 and F-16 fighter jets from the US. Therefore, this is a good opportunity not to be missed. Secondly, Turkey does not want to upset Russia. Their foreign minister once said that NATO's expansion with both Sweden and Finland would provoke President Putin and expand the war in Ukraine. The real reason they fear offending Russia is because Turkey's economy is facing serious difficulties with sanctions from the West due to reasons such as invading northern Syria in 2019, drilling for gas in Greece's exclusive economic zone, military cooperation with Russia and other hostile activities. Therefore, Russia is currently playing a vital role in Turkey's economy especially in energy sector thanks to buying oil, gas and coal at discounted prices they can reduce billions of dollars in domestic consumption costs and surplus for export to Europe for profit. The abundant money from Russia contributed significantly to President Erdogan's re-election for a new term last May. Therefore, Turkey's prevention of Sweden with seemingly perfect reasons but often considered by Western officials as a cover for their own interests. Some angry people said if they couldn't compromise it would be best to kick Turkey out of the organization and let Sweden join. In fact, even before Erdogan Turkey was always something incompatible with NATO, they often had opposing views for their own interests regardless of other members' frustration. However, due to its unique position in Mediterranean Sea so angry still have to endure. Turkey has right control two straits Bosporus and Dardanelles. Only way ships have go through if want enter Black Sea. In case war escalates they will become wall blocking Russian merchant ships and warships. This is entirely possible because after all they are still in NATO. 
Even now Turkey also stands on same side with Ukraine, they have provided dozens Bayraktar TB2 drones with high efficiency on battlefield, they also sell many TRG-230 guided missiles with maximum range 70 kilometers. In addition there are also types electronic warfare equipment bombs, bullets and mortars. So I'm important so I have the right. Saying Mr. Turkey is smarter than others is not wrong. 